Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four animated options in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the option one where it'll, you can have your title and any icons here and the detailed text. And this is a button where you can add your own text here. Then this is the title two or the option two, the option three, and the uh, option four likewise here you can add some bullet points also if you want and this is a bigger size so let's see how to create this infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide right mouse click and go to format background change the color of the slide i'm going to use a light gray color then go to view enable the guides Go to insert menu shapes and select rectangle top corners rounded. You can draw this much size. Shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give a white color and make a little bit curved. And then I'm just going to cut this shape. For example, I'm just going to move this one here. So I'm going to cut the shape from this line. For that, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle covering half of this one or till that line. Go to format shape, make it transparent. So you know exactly how much you're going to cut it and then make it no outline go to insert again shapes select the same rectangle top corner rounded rectangle and make it fully curved and then using the alt and the right arrow key just rotate it reduce the size and put it here shape outline make it no outline and make sure that it is aligned properly select both these shapes align say align middle and then i'm going to select both these shapes and a union so i'm going to cut this much from the white rectangle select the right white rectangle and the a blue shape go to merge shape and say subtract so this much area got subtracted and then i'm going to insert one more rectangle maybe this much size shape outline shape fill white outline make it no outline and i'm going to enter one more rectangle the same rectangle Till here make it less curved and if you want you can curve from this side also again make it no outline and give a different color and send this to back so you got this shape ready almost if you want to give a shadow effect I'm going to select this press ctrl D duplicate and I'm going to fill this with black color and make it more transparent and if you want you can make it a uh, soft edges also a little bit soft edges and then put it here increase the size a little bit and then send this to back so you got the shadow effect also if you want you can reduce the size a little bit or increase whatever you want to do it and then you can add the text here go to text box I'll just type 01 make it white color center aligned and put it here and then you can add some text here 
at the bottom or if you want you can add a bullet points also I'm just going to add some Latin text and justify if you want you can add some more shapes here or a button so I'm going to select this shape rounded corner rectangle and give the same color shape outline make it no outline and bring it here and if you want you can add some text to it and then I'm going to add one more text which is the title I'm going to use the same color also for this and select any good font going to make it very loose so the title will be here and if you have the icons where I have downloaded the icons these icons from the nonproject.com so you can use any of this icon here so I'm just going to select this icon and this font also you can reduce the somewhat gray you can use it so you can see here my design is almost ready and if you want you can add some shadow effect for that I'm going to select a oval shape select the oval shape make it no outline and say gradient fill I have used one is the same background another is the black color with transparency effect as well as the soft edges if you want you can have the soft edges also and then put it here so you got the shadow effect also I'm just going to copy all this select all this press ctrl G to copy and put aside press ctrl D this is for my second option select both of this I'll just remove this Control D and I'm just going to align it properly select all this and go to format alignment just say distribute horizontally and then I'm going to just change the numbers ungroup all this and I'm just going to copy this here and bring to front likewise you can change this color also I'm going to use maybe some orange this also the same color title also you have to use the same color once this is done you can copy this icon here bring to front and change this color to maybe pink this also will be pink and the title also will be pink color and the last one this also you bring to front and I'm going to use a blue color this also will be blue and this also will be blue all right so you can see here we have almost completed the design if you want you can group one by one 
कंट्रोल जी एंड देन मेक श्योर दैट दिस शुड बी अलाइन प्रॉपरली अलाइन आई से टॉप सो द डिजाइन इज ऑलमोस्ट रेडी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव सम एनिमेशन यू कैन डू इट यू कैन डू वन बाय वन एनिमेशन आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट ऑल दिस ऑब्जेक्ट्स गो टू एनिमेशन पेन एनेबल द एनिमेशन पेन बटन एंड देन जस्ट से फ्लाई इन फ्लाई इन यू कैन मेक इट ऑल ऑन क्लिक और यू कैन मेक इट आफ्टर प्रीवियस ऑल्सो सो लेट सी हाउ इट लुक्स in the slide show so when i click it will show you the first option the second the third and the fourth that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye